What's up everyone? So I'm gonna show you how to walk step-by-step -step how to set up a custom domain for Go High Level. And I'm gonna walk you exactly how to set up a membership area, how to create a custom domain for that membership area. And uh, you know, I'm gonna walk you through it step-by-step. -step. So first things first, you need to go to funnels and go to membership. And then from here, we're actually gonna to go to settings once it loads. Let's just refresh that page. And so we're gonna to go to settings and site details. So this is where you actually set something up. So I, I've written down the ultimate go high level training. I put university at, uh, or sorry, university uh, dot membership dot msg sender dot com and this is actually not the custom domain and we'll, we'll be setting that up shortly but um, you can definitely put in whatever you want here put your support email uh, put your support phone number and then if you need to add any kind of custom uh, JavaScript or CSS you can definitely do that so we'll go ahead and save that and then we'll go back to settings and we'll set up custom domains and from here, we want to actually point, uh, depending on if it's just a straight uh, name like themoneyfriends.com, then we'll point a, a record to this. But since it's a, uh, we're doing a subdomain, we're doing university, university at themoneyfriends.com, we're gonna actually do a C record or a C name. So we'll grab this uh, little preview, if we can grab it real quick and we're gonna to go to our domain. So in other videos, I showed you uh, how to set up the C record and uh, setting up a custom domain within GoDaddy, within um, Bluehost and Namecheap. I use Namecheap, so go ahead and check out the description below to get a link to buy your cheap domains. Um, they are really inexpensive and they're just really worth it. But from here, you're gonna to go to the Money Friends or whatever your domain name is, and you're gonna to go to Advanced DNS. And from here, all we're gonna do is uh, go add a new record. We're gonna do a C name, and the host is gonna be University, and the target is actually gonna be uh, that preview.themembership.msgsender.com, and we'll just save this to one minute, and we'll click OK. And so when we go back here, we should be able to save this. It might take a moment to load. Uh, make sure I spelled everything correctly because it's kind of important. Save that. This is all good, 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 okay. And now we're just gonna save. And once this takes a little bit to load, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and uh, wait for it to come back up. I wanna say that it does take up to 15 minutes to sometimes have this populate, but I'm just gonna go over uh, my one that actually works right now. Um, so if we go to training at the Digital Tycoon, this, what, this is what it should populate. And you can see all the different uh, training courses here and step-by-step uh, -step kind of um, or what you have available. And obviously these are all password protected. So uh, if you don't have access, you're able to not actually log in. So um, if you haven't actually offered like a uh, the membership offer page, and I'll, I'll go over that in a second, but let's see if this actually pulled up. It still hasn't pulled up, but I want to walk you through the other simple steps to actually set up uh, the membership area. So um, to actually grant someone a, say for instance, a part of the membership offer that you have, um, we actually need to create a, a um, an offer and a product. So um, to do that, we need to go to all products. We'll create a new product and we'll just do a sprint course and we'll call it sprint course. And as you can see, it's just a, f a few courses, a marathon courses, like four modules and uh, like three lessons or four lessons. Um, so once that's actually done, uh, we can put zero, we can create an offer, we can add um, all sorts of different things. Just make sure that you actually um, have it published and then you can say free offer, one-time payment or some kind of recurring. And we'll just say this is a free offer. 
we'll go ahead and click Save. And uh, that's pretty much how you create your offer. So um, to kind of go back real quick, say we want to do a marathon. Um, you go to, as you can see, has more uh, courses, but you want to make sure that you click create offer because then it actually takes you to the offer, what that offer is. And you want to make sure it's published or it'll never show. So we go ahead and click that. And then uh, to get the link, you can share this to people. If you want to give it to for free, you can do a shortener. Um, as you can see right now, it's still not saved as um, the custom domain because I just haven't uh, accepted it yet. So we'll go and check that in a second, see if it's, if it's come up yet. Hopefully it has. Still nothing. So it's going to take a little bit. It could take, like I said, take up to 15 minutes. But um, from here, we're just going to show that we have two offers here. And we can view those by previewing them. And then you would just log in. Once they log in, they actually get sent an email automatically. So you don't really need to do anything. Um, but to give someone access, say, say through triggers or um, just manually, all we'll have to do is go back. And we'll go to save to do it manually. We'll find uh, some, some right here. And we'll go to offers and we can add a marathon or a sprint. So very easy to do here. Uh, to go back to our actual uh, funnels, that test funnel that we had, and with those fake products that we did, our membership area here, and this was done in a different video, so I'll show you how to add the actual membership area. So uh, this membership offer right here, we'll click on membership offer, and we'll actually add one of those. So, uh, and we'll update. So that will automatically send them an email with their login and password. But say we want to uh, kind of remove that offer, that membership area. Say they, for instance, are, um, they upgraded to a higher membership area, and we wanted to remove this free one and then upgrade them to the 997 one. Say for instance, we give them the Sprint one for free when they sign up and then they purchase this one and we wanna give that to them. So we'll do that in triggers. Um, I'll show you a quick version. There's another video that shows you step-by-step -step on different triggers, but I wanna show you this one real quickly. So we'll create a new trigger. This will be the uh, upgraded, upgraded, membership trigger and this will be just a sales trigger so uh, when they've purchased through our two-step order form uh, let's do social tycoon for example and it is a submission type of sale because oh, it was a bump offer right so we don't want to obvious uh, I don't know what it was I think it was a sale whatever that one was, uh, we'll make sure that it's the correct one because we wanna make sure that you're doing it correctly. But um, if it's in sale, the social tycoon, then the submission type is a sale. We don't wanna do like an opt-in. Um, we just wanna make sure it's the correct one. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be giving them an updated uh, offer. So we'll give them the marathon course and we'll remove the sprint course. And so that will give them uh, when they actually purchase the two-step order form. Say they do like an opt-in uh, to get the free course, which was the sprint course. So uh, we'll set that up in a second. Then we want to upgrade them to uh, the marathon course, right? So we'll set, set up that trigger. So let's do sales trigger, sprint course, opt-in. And so when they opt in through a form, and we'll do that test, right? This one. Uh, then we wanna grant them that sprint course. And we wanna turn that to active. So they opt in through that form that we created in earlier videos. Um, if you have not seen those videos, uh, I've added them in the description. 
uh, then you're going to go ahead and define as when they this form is submitted on form four we're going to give them the sprint course but when they purchase through the two-step order form then we're going to give them the the marathon course and remove the sprint course so um, that is exactly how to set up membership let's go see if it actually uh, has actually uh, populated because that'd be pretty cool still has not so um, whatever reason it's not populating but that's exactly how you set it up I want to go over one last setting so here you can just this should be automatically connected so when uh, they actually get the email um, from granting a membership they'll get that welcome email saying they purchased the product thank you so much I, I kind of want to show you what it looks like on this to kind of show you the link um, and as you can see, there's already one person signed up because I granted them the sprint course. So let's go to offers. Let's go to sprint course and let's get that link. And this is what it would look like when you sign up similar to this one. So let's go to training at the digital tycoon. And as you can see here, similar thing. It's just, uh, it's not this long membership.msg sender. It's actually my website. So that's how you set it up uh, and you guys should be good to go. Uh, don't worry about having the C name not populate. It really has to do with your provider. Sometimes it could take up to 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Uh, just be mindful of that and don't uh, think something's wrong. Just make sure that you give it some time. That's it for this lesson.